Tim's News Explosion. 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 One of the biggest uh, online, well, Twitter X spats, and that is between Candace Owens of the Daily Wire and uh, Rabbi Schmoley, who touts himself as uh, uh, the United States' most influential rabbi. And so he is a relationship and sex expert that's what he he bills himself as he's he's sort of like the real version of Roz Fokker from the the meets the parents trilogy if you haven't seen that Barbara Streisand plays uh Gaylord Fuckers Ben Stiller's character's mother uh, who's a who's a sex therapist so his daughter uh Rabbi Shmuley uh runs a kosher sex business in in Tel Aviv and because uh, so it all started when Candace Owens revealed that uh, ever since uh, Kanye West uh, said that he was going to go DEFCON on the the Jews when he was on X, uh, she's been threatened by him. I very much abstained from speaking much about the issue because people were so emotional that people couldn't hear even if I had shared and even when Kanye did share that he was speaking about specific specific people in Hollywood that he believed were coming after him and were trying to control him. He actually named some of those individuals. He shared personal text messages uh, of a friend of his, a personal trainer to the stars, who again happens to be Jewish, who was threatening to put him in the hospital and to drug him against his will. Harley Pasternak is his name, and the media barely reported on those text messages that he shared publicly because, obviously, he was enemy number one. And here's what else I will tell you. When that Kanye situation went down, I was being threatened by a person named Rabbi Shmuley, a person that Michael Jackson put on his enemy list, a person that I had never heard of was threatening me and saying that unless I came out and said things explicitly against Kanye, he would effectively ruin my life. He said that he would take out a front page ad and smear me as an anti-Semite. And it wasn't just him, it was also his daughter messaging me saying, don't mess with Jews, very bizarre stuff. And they have not stopped to be clear. And him and his daughter have consistently pulled clips from this show taken them out of context and tried to convince Jewish people that I hate them. Now, because Candace Owens went uh, public, that Rabbi Shmuley had been threatening her uh, for a, a couple of years now, it is on. And so uh, Rabbi Shmuley has basically gone DEF CON on his uh, Twitter X account against Candace Owens. And so he's released a number of uh, videos uh, attacking her he says he's gonna sue and bankrupt her and he claims uh, that he his daughter doesn't uh, run a sex shop uh well let's see what how he puts it and uh, he also claims that uh, candace owens is uh, sexually repressed hi everyone i uh just saw that comrade candace the stalinist sex police the woman who exhibits incredible amounts of repression and has her head in everybody's bedroom, which is really creepy, creepy Candace, uh, retweeted something that I wrote yesterday. And she said, I'm not an anti-Semite if I don't want to buy your daughter's novelty product. She didn't say the novelty product. She's actually kind of gross. And she goes, she's very specific. I've learned throughout my life that repressed people have a real issue with sex they make it dirty they want it to remain pornographic they don't care about making marriages passionate they don't care about making intimacy between husband and wife something real all they want to do is just leave sex as something dirty and that's where the pornographers take over and that's where adultery comes in and infidelity but comrade candace the stalinist sex police has got 
serious, it appears, serious sexual issues. Now, she said that that doesn't make her anti-Semite. Of course it doesn't. That just makes her repressed. What makes her an anti-Semite is her love of Kanye West's love of Hitler. That is beyond sick and twisted. What makes her an anti-Semite is falsely accusing Jews and Israel of genocide, which again makes you beyond sick, the ultimate blood libel. What makes her an anti-Semite is saying that Jews run, again, it's always sex. She's obsessed with sex. Again, another indication of the severe repression that Jews run Hollywood sex rings to black male black artists. That makes you an anti-Semite and pretty sick. Get your head out of the gutter, Candace. God help us. What makes you an anti-Semite is that you insinuate that rabbis and I murdered Michael Jackson. Yeah, just like we murdered Jesus. By the way, we also did Elvis and we also did Kennedy. I was on the grassy knoll. I hope no one had this video. I hope the Bruder didn't catch me there shooting Kennedy as well. We Jews kill Candace. That's what we do. We love blood. What makes her an anti-Semite is that she says that every Jewish knee is gonna bow, is gonna bow to Christ. I wrote, I wrote Kosher Jesus. I bet you the Candace Owens is a total ignoramus when it comes to Christian scripture, the New Testament, the book of Mark, the book of John, the book of Luke. Read my book and you'll see the Jewish history from the New Testament, from Christian scripture about Jesus. But she wants all Jews to embrace Christ as Lord and Savior, or we're gonna probably just like burn in hell, Candace, right? That was the justification for the slaughter and the murder of Jews for 2,000 years. They were better, better that we killed them here than they burned for eternity in hell. Maybe Candace thinks that both things are gonna to happen to us. I, I don't know. What makes her guilty of libel and defamation is that she said that I wanna kill her now and that I killed Michael Jackson. There will be legal, legal repercussions to that. There has to be, because this is a nation of laws. And unless we stop libel against the Jews and defamation against the Jews, we will never stop anti-Semitism. God bless you guys. So that's just one of his rants against Candace Owens. In another video, he said it's anti-Semitic to claim that Jeffrey Epstein I, was a Mossad ag agent uh, used to uh, blackmail a U.S. Uh, celebrities and politicians and he also claimed uh, that uh, he, he he got one of his uh, uh, daughter's kosher sex products and said oh it's just oils here which is uh, just a fancy term for sex drugs because well the the point of those oils is to well for uh partners to get in uh, the mood and he doesn't mention the butt plugs and dildos that are for sale on kosher sex and i uh, apparently you can get some discounts now at kosher co uh, kosher dot sex uh made in israel uh tell a uh, the sh that his daughter shops in tel aviv uh, so if you use the the code a uh, discount code candace o and so this is how i he like he and his daughter get away with saying we're not uh selling uh filth uh sex sex toys uh this is not about uh, uh a pornography uh we don't like pornography this is kosher sex if you just put kosher in front of your sex shop name then it's perfectly fine uh so it's a it's a wholesome uh religious products um i i don't know many uh, <laughs> religious people uh, uh, religious people who uh would so if so would christians buy butt plugs and dildos if it had uh say christian in front of it because that seems to be the, <laughs> the, the 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 grift there and now michael jackson uh, his uh, his friend he uh, michael jackson ended fr his friendship with rabbi Schmoley in the early 2000s and then coincidentally michael jackson gets charged with uh, child molestation which he was found not guilty of but it was quite a coincidence there that as soon as he entered his uh, relationship with rabbi Schmoley, he got uh, charged uh brucey says he said they were novelty products and said candace was the six ones for actually stating what what they were and <laughs> not a novelty product so so i'll tell you what but a a a, a an eight ball a one of those uh a, a, one of those uh what do you what do you call them those those cube things that uh, they're novelty products uh not butt plugs and dildos now moving on to the uh tiktok uh 
it's a, it's called divestment or ban bill. So the U.S. House of Representatives, they, they say, uh, it's passed bipartisan by about 350 votes to 65, that uh, TikTok has to be either divested uh, from a Chinese Communist uh, Party influence uh, because uh, the CCP can access uh, TikTok's data at uh, at any time for its cyber espionage but the actual uh, legislation it uh, if you if you again the the devil is in the detail pardon the pun it's what this legislation is controlled by a foreign adversary uh, this is what it says and it's up to the president to decide what uh, it, that uh, what he he believes is a significant threat to the national security of the United States. So public notice proposing such determination, a public court to Congress submitted no less than 30 days before such determination describing the specific national security set involved in containing a classified annex and description of what assets would be need to be divested and execute a qualified divestiture. So this can be applied to any uh, social media which it's deemed to be uh, controlled by a foreign adversary, which uh, can be direct or indirect, uh, uh, own at least 20% stake. Uh, so they could potentially uh, force a divestment or ban on other social media they don't like, such as a Gab and Telegram. Because remember, Telegram, it is uh, it was owned by some... Uh, it was founded by some Russian uh, uh, brothers, who, though they're dissidents of Putin. Putin just got re-elected uh, for another six-year term, 87% of, of the vote. Now, they, they, they talk about uh, TikTok being a national security risk because of the, the data that it accumulates. Uh, but what the, the, the thing that has prompted this congressional, this, uh, congressional legislation is not that uh, the that TikTok is promoting uh, degeneracy and contributing to the decay of uh, U.S. culture and society. I mean, it's genius subversion by the the CCP uh, because they're trying to get their birth rate up. Uh, the C the CCP. So on their Great Firewall of China, they've banned LGBT content, and their TikTok is all wholesome. Yet. TikTok over in the United States is promoting the trans agenda, I guess, aiming to the CCP wants uh, as many uh, US youngsters to sterilize themselves through gender, uh, gender treatments. And so, and half of America is on uh, TikTok now. They've got the CCP, have got them addicted and they've they've said uh to TikTok users, contact contact your congressman to stop uh, this bill. But what has actually led to uh, congressional action is not uh, this, uh, that, uh, uh, the, the, that TikTok is promoting degeneracy. It's because TikTok is uh, promoting anti-Zionist pro-Palestine content. That is where uh, bin Laden's letter to America from 2003 uh, went, uh, went viral. Uh, so... Uh, because the 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 ADL uh, do not uh, now they'll they'll find the ADL with TikTok promoting degeneracy, and it seems that uh, uh, Amy Schumer and Deborah Messing, Jewish celebrities who uh, attended the anti uh, who attended a meeting with TikTok decrying the anti-Semitic content. So they're perfectly, it's, it's the same with all of these Jewish donors to universities. They're fine with all the anti-white. Uh, uh, indoctrination until it included uh, anti uh, anti Zionist indoctrination as well. So, a in six months, either TikTok will be banned or be forced to be sold. Uh, but I uh, guess who wants to uh, go and buy uh, TikTok? Mossad linked Stephen Muchin, who is a former uh, U.S. Uh, Secretary of the Treasury. Uh, is getting together a bunch of uh, investors, a Mossad, Israel, 
a Zionist allied to by TikTok. And so the I, I assume that uh, TikTok will still be promoting degenerate content uh, when it's owned by uh, Mossad-linked investors. Uh, but uh, the data, instead of going to the Chinese Communist Party, uh, will go uh, back to Israel, maybe for uh, blackmail purposes, like, oh, you've been looking at TikTok, all of this uh, degenerate uh, content, uh, so you better do what you say, otherwise we're going to expose uh, your TikTok use. So, yes, uh, <laughs> it seems that uh, TikTok, uh, no matter who owns it, it's a uh, degenerate content is not going to change, but it's going to become a lot more kosher. We're going to get a kosher degenerate app. And obviously, I uh, like there's there's there, there uh there's a lot of Jews in business, and uh this sex uh pornographic industry is is very lucrative, and uh, it's not just uh sex and porn anymore, it's those uh, fetish industries, uh, those those puppy masks. Uh, the the owner of OnlyFans uh, donated uh, eleven million dollars, uh, reportedly, uh, to uh, the America Israel uh, Political Action Group. Uh, so his name is uh, Leonid Razisvi. Uh, so he denied it when he was uh, questioned, uh, but when there was evidence, uh, he. He, he hung up the phone. So it's listed he and his wife, Katie uh, Chadrinsky. So, and of course, OnlyFans, it's, well, it's a, it's a money printer. Uh, there's so much money in there. I think a rabbi owns uh, Pornhub. Uh, so, again, that's what I said. It's it's big business, uh, the, uh, the porn industry, and as is all types of degeneracy. Tim's News Explosion. 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 Tim's news explosion.